Um, it's a beautiful Sabbath. Okay, so, um, you're going to be the translator? I want to give a t- uh, welcome to Denise. She's here, she wants to help me. Let's say welcome to Denise. Amen. Um, I have a good news. We are two Saturdays away from our big ceremony. The ceremony of the organization of uh, this church. And that will be on Saturday 7th at 3 p.m. That day, um, Prosper is going to be here with the list of all the members. And we need to have no more than 50 members in here. If we don't have those members, they're going to cancel your ceremony. So make sure that we have more than 50. And that's going to be a, a, a big mess for this church. Um, today we are having a, uh, we're going to participate in a beautiful ceremony. We're going to have the whole community and we're going to have the communion. And we're going to have the Holy Communion. And you may ask who can participate. Do you want to know? Do you want to know? We have a beautiful God. God is the God of the opportunities. And every day is an opportunity to receive the forgiveness for Him. And if we are here, and if you have a, um, how do I say? Have to sing in Spanish too. Si tienes un corazón arrepentido, surrender heart. This is a special day to have a new beginning with God. So we are going to try to participate um, when you are baptized. Normally we try to involve all the church members. Because this is a ceremony to a, a forgiven over sins. And if any if is any sinner in this place, this is a good opportunity for you and for me. Do we have sinners here? Yes. So if you are a sinner, if you have the same problem that I have, this is a new opportunity to a new beginning with God. And we're going to talk about um, a God of the opportunities. And today we're going to talk about what, about uh, one special king. This king received three opportunities from God. 
Do you know which king is? Do you have an idea? If you have the right answer, I have a candy for you. It's a ginger candy. It's a good one. Who? No. Uh, what is the question? I have half an hour explaining. <laughs> this king, God gave him three opportunities. What's the name of the king? No, it's not a king. Oh, it's not a you going to find nobody will. Who wants this, this candy? You're going to need it. We're going to talk about the king that is, his name is present in the book of Daniel chapter 1. Chapter 2 in the head. Which king is? Nebuchadnezzar. In Spanish, Nabucodonosor. God gave Nabucodonosor three opportunities on his life. Uh, but now I want you to find the the uh, the verse that is on first. Peter 3 9. Can you find the lecture, please? Chapter 3, verse 9. Uh, Daniel chapter 3, verse 9. Daniel chapter 3, verse 9. Daniel um, we need her and make microphone. Uh, Daniel chapter 3, verse 9. 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 say a different phrase. It may be the same but a different phrase. Because Jesus is the God of the opportunities uh, because he is waiting on me uh, to uh, make decisions accept him as my savior. Do you need Jesus in your life? Do you need his forgiveness? Do you think we need opportunity from God? If you can, you know, make a rewind on your mind, how many opportunities has Jesus given to you? How many opportunities do we give the person who made mistakes against us? If Jesus can forgive me, if Jesus is the, the God of the opportunities, can I receive another opportunity from him? Okay. On Daniel chapter 1, the Bible said that Jesus, or I mean God, gave uh, the king of Jerusalem in the hands of Nabucodonosor. Don't laugh. We can practice. Nabucodonosor. Okay. 
Okay? Jesus gave Jerusalem. Jerusalem is the city of God, right? Yes. And God gave his city to who? And with the city, Nabucodonosor, he took four special guys, right? Do you remember their names? Can you say it? Sadrach, Mesach, Yavendego. Okay? And he, the king, he took these young people from his board place, uh, a board place, right? The place where they born. And he took it to a different place. Uh, now, according to Daniel chapter 2, Nabucodonosor had a dream. Remember the dream of Nabucodonosor? My brother Nabucodonosor. He's not his brother. It's a short name. It's a nickname. Nabucodonosor. Remember the name of Nabucodonosor? Why? What was the, the, the dream about? Uh, uh, is the daughter of Nami, is he, is he, that is uh, he, he dreamed about a big images, a big uh, statue. <laughs> but this statue has four different elements, remember? <laughs> and, yeah, and what was the problem of the dream of the king? What was the problem? He forgot everything. He forgot the dream. And he wants to know the dream and the meaning of the dream. And the king calls all the uh, ministries and everyone. Call the pastors. <laughs> and he asked about the dream and about the meaning of the dream. But nobody ask the answer. Why? 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 Because the only person who knows everything is God. Why? 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 So guys, please. Don't be asking the horoscope. How do you call that? Horoscope. Fortune tellers. Do you know how to remember quiz the natural product of what the Baba and the Baba Buddha are? You don't have to go to people asking for the future. Bonds and doing things. Uh, <laughs> 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 
And they can read your hand. Let me see. What is in your hand? You're a good guy. Well, you know, the only, the only one who can say the, the future is God. And according to chapter 2, when Daniel came to the king, Daniel told the king what was the, the dream and what was the, um, the meaning of the dream. And Daniel told the king that the, the head of the statue is gold. And you are that head. And the next part, the, the arms uh, of the which penna? Which penna? Which metal? Silver. And all the king is going to come. Which king? Which king? Esa. That one. And the third mineral. Mumuringa. And the last one. I tell you, my name is the devil. Machondo? 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 And he, he saw every part of the statue. Okay? Listen. I tell you, my name is the devil. Can we read the verse 46 and see what happened with Nabucodonosor when God gave him the meaning of the dream? What happened with him? Verse 46 and 47. Can we read it?
Have you ever recognized God as your only God? When you have problems in your life, when you need a job, when you're thinking about what I'm going to study in my future, who's going to be my husband or, husband or my wife, do you come to God and ask Him to guide you? When you need to make a very important decision in your life, do you ask God? Is God your first person on your life? Now, God give one opportunity to the king, okay? Uh, and God tell the king, you are the head, the uh, golden head. And at that moment, the king can say, thank you, God, because you're giving me this opportunity to be a king for a, a good time. Uh, and now I'm going to be a king thank you and my king is going to be your king the kingdom oh, sorry. but Nabucodonosor start thinking about the dream Instead of think about the the God of the dream. And he saw the statue and he said, God said, I'm, I'm the head of the of the statue, but I'm gonna be the whole statue. Can you explain? He he told that he was just the head. But he said, I'm not going to be just the head. I'm going to be the whole statue. Oh, well, I'm going to be the whole statue. 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 He built a great statue in the valley of Luna. And he constructed a big statue from the valley of Luna. You gotta remember what happened there? What happened? You know the story, right? She wants to say something. <laughs> Yes, correct. Yes, correct. Yes, correct. Yes, correct. Yes, correct. But the friends of Daniel, they didn't accept. And what happened with the king? Remember, some of the, the, the friends of the king came to the king and said, Hey, king, look those.
Look at what interesting. Can we read chapter 3, verse 24? What comes with the book of the Lord? Chapter 3, verse 24. We're in Daniel. Chapter 3. 24 and 25. But I was in the name of the Lord. 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 Atukutupa watu watatu Hali wamefungwa katika Katikati ya moto Wakajibu wakamambia mfalme Kweli kweli e mfalme Akajibu Akasema tazama Mimi naona watu waine Naona wamefunguliwa Wanatembea tembea katika moto hali hawana dhara na sura yake yule wa ile mfano wa mwana wa wa mwana wa miungu Wala 
kumwabudu ila Mungu wao wenyewe. Mto so verse 29. Yes. Verse 29. Basi mimi naweka amri ya kuwa kila kabila ya watu na kila taifa na kila lugha watakaonena neno lolote lisilopasa juu ya huyo Mungu wa Shadrach na Meshach na Abednego watakatwa vipande vipande na na nyumba zao zita, zitafanywa jaa kwa kuwa hawa, kwa kuwa hakuna Mungu mwingine awezae kuokoa namna hii Uh, Nuka nazar akutati imani ya Shadrach Mesha Mesha na Abednego ni goli shiume yeye yeye malaika wao ikiza wakarabu wao baiingie kuko aliyuchi uh, uchi zote za ndugu nami uh, bagahara amagara yao kujira ngo watajira ndi mana yose ba kwa changu la senga itali mana yao mani chenda nje chato ni nsha iteka kujira ngo umuno wese umu moko yo seindi ni zitari zimwe uzavuga na rimana shaka mushaka na benego azate magurwe kandi urugurwe uzahindurwe icyavu kuko ari nta yindi imana ibasha gukiza bena mukajyana no kabeza na rya ya jeje bitinyo anga for second time he recognized the real god ya wona imana nyayo but he gives a a, a wrong order to his people anuma atanga itege ko kubanwa be ayoboye you cannot make the people obey by the law ati ntabwa ati ntabwa tereka abantu kubungira cyangwa ko ukoza amategeko ko ukoresha itege ko you cannot supposed to force nobody to believe in god ntabwo ugomba ku kurazimisha abantu ko bibahana kwibaza ku ngo if you accept jesus is going to be from the bottom of your heart niba ushaka kwizera imana ugomba kugira bitoze ku mutima wawe ntabwo bagomba kwibishya but on this second time na bukozono so he know about the real god atabwo kwinsho akabiye ukageza yamenye imana yayo ku and now we're going to see the third opportunity Chapter 